So I didn't actually sleep too well last night, but I will try to be more energetic. Ah. Oh, got my cup of green tea here with something called blue agave honey. Hmm, not bad. All right, here we go. And you can use the skip button to fast forward through the text if already read. That'll, that'll really help my throat. Okay. So last time, I think Sayori was basically asking how we would, what we would do if Yuri asked to walk home with us instead. And since Yuri is the one who's been, I don't know, just having kind of ridiculous cat fights. I think maybe we'll just go with Sayori here. Oh gosh, this game is so loud. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, but, she's so beautiful and smart and I only have the cute factor. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together for some platonic reason. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Reza. That's me. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... So Yuri, I've already made up my mind. You're all gonna kill me one way or another, and it may as well be you. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. It's gonna happen tomorrow. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? A few days is a long time in VNs, you know. Oh, right. I have to write one more of these. Uh... Oh, man. Heaven Sent Kitty. Uh, Strawberry Infinite. Uh, Promise Massacre. Are you just gonna pick stuff I haven't picked yet? Lazy, that, that speaks to me right now. Um, lazy raindrops. Uh, reef. Flower. Uh, bunny sounds good. Nibble. Explode! Contamination. Electricity. Really? Electricity is yours? Huh. Uh, fireworks. Determination. All right. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Just what is your angle here? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. Wait, I, you you both like was totally were totally against the idea of this, and now you're like all for it. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Oh, I, I see. That makes sense. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people- wait, what? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. 
Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Yeah, what do you mean? Because it's right in your name. Oh, Mon Ika. Eh, Twitch. That's not how you say my name at all. Oh, did I screw that up? <laughs> also, that joke makes no sense in translation. So I remember you told me that this this game is like on the cusp of going to its crazy stuff, but is it like fourth wall breaking stuff? Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Well, she's the one who's been breaking the fourth wall like so far, so maybe she's the one who's gonna like, I don't know, freak out and kill me or something? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in a corner of the room looking down at nothing. Oh no. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else instead of me. Huh? Is everything all right with you over there? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hmm. I hope nobody like started blackmailing you already. It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Haha! -ha. Sayori shows me a big smile that is totally 100% convincing. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I wordly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Reza, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? She's the same as she always is. Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. I used to do that. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Reza. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talking to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. My feelings are hurt. Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. <gasps> what do you mean? Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm just saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Reza. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club, but now she's realizing that she has to share you, and she's feeling really conflicted about it. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way! Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. Hehehe, <laughs> Twitch. You're so funny, Reza. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? 
Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Dots. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but she just went on ahead and said it so she wouldn't face any social repercussions, no matter the outcome. So I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from her. Here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica, because I'm a protag with no personal initiative. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. I really have no choice. By now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Dots. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in the concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Yeah, you're, everyone's going in that direction. Eh? I ask as the clueless protag. So sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. I'm not interested in any of y'all. Sayori and I have just been friends. For a long time, that's all. Ah, oh, I see. Thank goodness, I still have some chance. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Reza, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. Oh. So, you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm, I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on her inside her head. I think that's kind of true of all y'all. And she may not always know what she wants. I notice her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. You're all just shipping me now. We're just good tomodachis, that's all. Thoughts. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. 
Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, really, may uncover feelings you weren't aware in. You, okay. That that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you. Feel that way about her, Yuri. You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. You stick me in a club with four hot girls. I'm gonna act like a normal guy, apparently. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. I don't like have secret feelings. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Ah, <sighs> playing a guy in a in a Japanese VN is is harder than I thought. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Hey, no problem, man. I'm gonna drink some tea right now. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta love that green tea. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and settles the kettle. Oh, sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you to the girls' bathroom for water. Yeah. Why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm. Where are you two off to? Eh, we're just. Yuri was going to make some tea, so. I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. Okay, why? Why is this atmosphere so tense? Is Monica like trying to cut off all my ties with everyone? That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's Monica. Please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Reza in club activities? Eh? My mouth gapes. I twitch. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. <laughs> then let's go, Reza. Okay. Ah, uh, there's gonna be way more cat fights, aren't there? Ah. Uh, Eri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Eri, I just something about the way she said that. It made me feel so yandere. What's wrong with me? No, Eri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Really? Was it really th okay? Reza, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Not even when you're stabbing me with a knife, like you probably will later. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. Hey, speak for yourself, man. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. 
Ah, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? F friend, you say? Ah, um. Yuri lifts her head. Reza, I really like being tomodachis with you, and I would never want any more. Ah, ha, ha, thanks, Yuri. I like being tomodachis with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Oh, right. Water fountains exist in schools. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Reza, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything's fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Fahrenheit, I'm guessing. Now it's time to get the teapot. But maybe the teapot has been mysteriously stolen by a jealous girl. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, oh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed? I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Reza. We've known each other for less than a week, right? It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Reza, I have another request. Alright. Time to save. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh, that should be safe. Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Oh, I feel you, lady. I got some serious back pain issues on my own. Ugh. Gotta stop hunching over at this desk. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... M my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, that's totally it. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As we in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch a test. Like in Echi anime. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Oh, I, I can guarantee you she's noticed. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Dots. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? 
Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, cool particle effects. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Okay. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Reza... S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, that's... Well... Y you were just helping. That's something that tomodachis do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah... That's all it was. I wasn't being a perv or anything. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. I, I, I see. The situation has gotten really stupid. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is doki dokiing. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Thoughts? How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her mune rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone, that's enough of flirting. Ah, ah! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Reza, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor, and also my pride and shame. I pick up the bag of cookies. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Um... Oh, I guess I'm going to talk to Natsuki. Dots. This one's alright. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I can see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That, that's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Uh, Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I wouldn't mind scaring you away after all. I was... Just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Haha! <laughs> uh, Dot, how the hell do you call that a joke? I'm gonna need stitches for this. That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach, okay. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, so this is about self-love and, and also... And also this is a lot more... Huh. I, well, okay. Very libative. Yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with a message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay. Uh, sorry, how are you doing? Thoughts? Hum, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can really tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically, I really didn't. Maybe. That's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really Urishi. And you're Urishi too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Reza. Sayuri, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. Please don't die. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today so we won't have a chance to walk home together. Sayuri? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. I hope, I hope you will. Before I can say anything else, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Uh, Monica? Hi, Reza. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I'm just glad you didn't do your weird twitch butt thing. Anyway, let's look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding my hands. Dot. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm... I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in the head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, Defending her like that. You must be pretty into her, Twitch. So first it was Sayuri and now it's Yuri, huh? Are we all gonna have a turn? Eh, you completely misunderstood. Haha, <laughs> calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. You're kind of suspicious, you. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. 
I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er, uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. Oh wow, this is longer than I thought. What's this stuff about thumb and forefinger over and over? It just feels like the same person wrote all these poems. Okay. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In fact, I don't seem to put much thought into anything. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I notice. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures, not like us anymore, girls. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You, the player. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging all that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Hmm, thanks for listening. So no fourth wall breaking today? All right, Yuri, apparently you'll like this poem a lot. Dots. Reza, this is wonderful. I can feel the emotion that you poured into it. Is this the result of trying what I suggested yesterday? No, it's a result of me randomly stacking 20 words. Yeah, I guess so. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more feeling. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing it just makes me really rishi. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Dots. For some reason, Yuri doesn't respond. Yuri? Yuri smiles sadly. Reza, during lunchtime, I eat- Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Reza, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And 
and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Reza. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all of these emojis. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything as I proclaim for the third time. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Reza. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really urishi. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see that way, then screw them! I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way... Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach. Marvel millions, blah blah. Oh wow, okay. I wonder if this game tracks if I actually scrolled the poem all the way down. Not sure what this is about either. Um, I'm aware that a beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did. She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles. Or thought processes. You know, I thought your stories aren't really matching up. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on for a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right, you deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen, and on that note, let's make another save. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you picked a time she's not feeling well? So much for y'all being lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, 
She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. C calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier. Oops. I talked to her earlier and everything's daijoubu. What did she say? Anyway, I'm going to ignore you and we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Dot. Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Hmm? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. I disagree. I'm like the best at cupcakes. N now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah. Uh -huh. That may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Reza. You're the one who is truly- I was just about to say, I'm the one who is truly useless. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy hot tasks to handle. Oh no. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's um... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. What kind of handwriting do I have? Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Wow, very, very attractive offer. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Reza might not, may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting the decorations and getting more emotionally close to me. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Reza to- oh, wh What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think- Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. So much catfighting. In the end, I think it's up to Reza to decide how he'd like to contribute. I'd like to just go home. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Reza, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Uh, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with saving my game. Mm. So I'm definitely not going to go with either of you two. Sayori, I don't know, if I go with her, is that just going to get her killed earlier? Like, I get that she's down and stuff, but... 
हाँ I don't know between Monica and Sayuri. Like you're definitely fishy, but I feel like you're gonna die really soon. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's just see what happens. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayuri. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said. Monica said, Monica said that Sayuri was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? Kinda. N no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Wow. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, all right then. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me, Twitch. Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh? But... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayuri as well. But Reza was the one who... Ah... Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um... Ah, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. <sighs> it's... Technically most logical for Razor to help one of you two. So... I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Razor? Oh, God. I'm just gonna... Uh, here we go. Well... Oh, no. Um... Honestly, you're both kind of exhausting for me. Alright. Like, your sinnerliness is just annoying and... And, well, you're you. So I'm going to flip a coin. Alright. Oh gosh, okay. Where's... Alright, Google, flip a coin for me. Coin flip. Heads for Natsuki, tails for... Yuri. Coin flip. Let's go. And we have tails. Yuri it is. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Reza? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be really useful, will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. Which is no different from usual. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Or do we have more silly cat fights with fake options? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Reza? Me? 
Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Mm -hmm. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Reza picked on me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend, so we must have that special scene where we exchange phone numbers or something. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Iri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. My house? Eh? My house? Yes, my house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Some really wacky shit is going down at my house. Alright, in that case it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Reza. Well, that's some good advice you should be taking yourself, lady. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Uh, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do after like being burned on two other choices. B but Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. 
but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. All social rules and decorums might just break down. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayuri finds out about this? Maybe she's a yonder and she's gonna kill everyone. It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Ooh. Little did I know. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayuri said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayuri's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayuri before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayuri's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself, and I feel like because the music has stopped, this might be a very dangerous situation, so I'm going to save the game. Again, we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in a room. In pieces. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. In pieces. Sayuri? Hi Reza, I'm totally alive. I sit down in her room. Sayuri forces a smile but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. Is that like a pair of jeans up there? Torn bit of well, someone just cancelled like November or something. Uh, well, that's cute. Whatever that is. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know about that? So Yuri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. So Yuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just... Wanted to see how you were doing, after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sari smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Reza. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't even have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? We're making a big deal out of this. I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayuri! I grab Sayuri by the shoulders. 
What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, give me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Reza. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Reza? I guess I have no choice this time. Everyone just has no choice in this game. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. Dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayuri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayuri? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Well, suddenly I'm such a stand-up guy. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your Tomodachi. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Reza. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Reza. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now I came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, as usual, I once again grab Sayuri's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. And we're gonna get a CG of that. Ah, uh, Reza. Sayuri, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Reza, Sayuri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Reza, I... Sayuri barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. It's enemy logic. 
No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. Main character might be underestimating depression here. I'll get mad if you don't. And now I sound like a typical animal girl. Dots. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sari finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Reza. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hearts are so warm, and that's really scary, too. Sayuri lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sayuri so wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fine. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayuri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we are definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Alright. I think... I'm pretty sure it's been at least an hour now, so I guess I guess that's it for this session. Alright, see ya.